My name is Nils Jorgensen and I've been photographing street photography for 40 years or so. And I thought it was time to collect my favourite images together and have a book. The book is a hundred colour photographs of street photography uh, taken without staging or manipulation. I wanted the book to be something really special, a beautiful object, and I'm delighted that award-winning designer Jim Sutherland has agreed to design the book. I think the key designing a photo book is really that it, the answer for whatever you do design-wise has to come from the content and not just the um, visual content but also the person you're doing it for and so I think it's really important to have those conversations really early on uh, with the photographer or the artist and the answer is already there and you just got to sort of unearth it in some ways. So I came across uh, Neil's work originally with a book we did for In Public uh, where we had 10 of his photographs and um, for me, what I love about his work is that it's uh, obviously it has all the um, amazing observation and the seeing the details in life, but there's something about it being quite uh, subtle and quite quiet, and it sort of almost demands a sort of further attention. And I think what I find is every time I look through his photographs, one, I see something else, which I love, but I think it actually changes your... Um, outlook when you're out in the world and you're actually in public you just start to look at different things and spotting different things and I'm not a photographer but suddenly you're, it's like your eyes have been opened to what's going on. The design of the book uh, came about with um, when Rosie and I who worked on the project with me met Nils and talked to him and um, one of the things we were asking was how he'd worked out the pagination of which images went next to other ones because it seems so beautifully done and there's something about the pairing of the images where it just makes you reconsider again what the photographs show and uh, he told us this story about uh, doing it random about throwing the images down and just seeing what happened. Photographers spend years deciding what sequence their photograph should be in and I have the same problem until I saw a documentary of Daido Moriyama a Japanese photographer who said he just threw his photographs up in the air and picked them up from the floor at random. And I thought, what a great idea. I didn't really believe him that that's the way he'd done it because it felt so poetic the way he put the images together. And um, so then Rosie and I in the studio did exactly that thing. We just kept randomly putting two images down together. And um, it did exactly what Nils had said. And it was almost a glimpse into um, perhaps the way his eyes work when he's when he's shooting that suddenly you just see other things by the juxtaposition of the two images so we'd had this thought about um, was there some way of, of replicating that really quite joyful moment of put, putting random images together uh, for the person who gets the book so we had this idea of doing a book that was completely blank apart from text on the spine and on the um, uh, fore edge uh, that just has these two pa uh, debossed panels uh, and then supplying all the images as a separate little box uh, where basically when you get the book you can decide the two images you want to put on and you can chop and change them and stick them together but you've almost got an, uh, you know, 300 different books that you could have so everybody can have their unique book but I think it's as much that is a nice sort of design idea but I think it's more about you suddenly put yourself a bit in Neil's shoes and see these two images together. I love the title that Neil's has chosen for the book, Nothing Like Something, uh, which I think is a uh, poem, a line from a poem by Philip Larkin, which, which is uh, a favourite of Neil's. Um, you know, all street photographs ride this, this knife edge between being something and being nothing. Um, the way that you take the picture, the moment you choose, the way you frame it, what you include, what you exclude, all these decisions in that moment can sway a picture from being, you know, something absolutely incredible that you will enjoy and hold uh, for the rest of your life or being nothing at all. I mean, as street photographers, we all work with 
you know, finding the unusual in the everyday. But Nils Jorgensen sort of does it on a, on a macro level. You know, he's, he's um, the things, the tiny little details of life that a lot of us wouldn't think are enough for a photograph. Nils spends time with them and, uh, and captures them and presents them to the viewer and says, you know, you know, this is actually something, don't, don't pass this up. Backlit rain falling, you know, um, a girl in, an, in a hairdresser's window twiddling her fingers through her hair, uh, someone asleep in their handbag on the, on the train. These tiny little things, um, like little haiku, little visual poems, um, you know, this is, this is the art that uh, Nils Jorgensen deals in, and, and it's beautiful. And it's long overdue that, uh, you know, a monograph of his work is published. Of course, Nils Jorgensen has been, um, you know, a pillar of the street photography uh, scene, I guess, for, um, you know, over 20 years. Um, even before he joined the public street photographers group in 2000, he, he'd been taking street photographs, you know, in his own time. Uh, during his job as, a, as an agency photographer for, for years before. He, he's one of those people who's born street photographer. He can't help but observe and see, you know, he, he's, it's not, he's not somebody who's learnt this. This is, this is Niels Jorgensen. This is how he sees the world. One of the things about the project, I think, is the uh, responsibility of taking, uh, you know, 20 years worth of Niels' work and um, doing that work justice in the design of the book and um, somehow engendering the sort of spirit of his work in the design uh, I think is really, for me, really key. Um, so there does come a responsibility uh, on your shoulders really as you're designing it to think what's the best way to reflect uh, not just Neil's work but some of his personality. And um, the other thing for me about, which is why I love designing books, is the longevity that they have and the idea that they're going to outlast most of us on a bookshelf somewhere. This is a very special book for me. It contains 100 of my favourite photographs. The book is beautifully designed and I'd be really pleased if you would help support it. Mm -hmm.